So did you know that cancer is the second leading cause of death in the United States? That is expected to go up even more. But if you learn what cancer is and treat the root cause of it and not the symptoms, you can reverse it. These are the three things that you need to understand to reverse cancer. So these are one, to understand what cancer is, two, treat the root cause of cancer and three, stop eliminating the symptoms of cancer. So in the next few minutes, I'm going to talk about what cancer is and why it manifests in your body. After you understand what cancer is, I'm going to talk about how to treat the root cause of it. And in the final part, I'm going to address why it's crucial that you stop treating the symptoms of cancer. So right now, I'm going to talk about the mechanism of cancer and so you understand it better. So what exactly is cancer? So cancer is not one disease. It can show up in 200 different places in the body. So what every one of these cancers have in common is that the cells grow in a unusual way and the body consists of billions of cells so every cell has a DNA and instruction on what to do so cells have a life expectancy so healthy cells they divide when they should divide and die when they should die but cancer cells they divide even if the they shouldn't. So a lot of new cells grow that the body doesn't need. So what is the cause of this weird growth? So Otto Heinrich Warburg he was one of the leading experts of cancer was a medical doctor. He was born in October 8, 1883. So he found out that the prime cause of cancer is when cells replace the respiration of oxygen by a fermentation of sugar. To make you understand this process further, let me give some examples. For example, have you ever shared a room with, a, with many people with a broken air conditioning? So how did you feel in that moment? Maybe tired or unfocused? So what did you do to fix the problem? You opened windows or went outside for a couple of minutes and felt much better. So that is exactly how it is with cancer cells. So when healthy cells don't receive enough air, they can't do their work. So everything becomes much harder. And that is why you feel so tired when you have cancer. So have you ever heard the stories of people that climb Mount Everest or similar mountains? What does everyone complain about when they reach a high altitude? being out of breath and being tired. So what happens when they receive less air? They become tired a lot quicker and every step raises their heart rate. So on the ground, they need to run at a high pace to reach the same intense intense pulse as they get when they just take one step on top of the mountain. So why is that? It's because their bodies don't receive enough air to sustain them. So imagine that your cancer cells are like mountain climbers that don't receive enough air. So of course they're going to have a hard time doing the work. But cancer cells are smart, so they find a way to get enough energy by fermenting glucose instead. So the downside of this proce process is that cancer cells start to mutate to survive. So now, so now that you understand the mechanism of cancer, the question is, is still why do normal cells lack oxygen? So to reverse the cancer process, you need first to learn the root cause of it and treat, treat them. So this, this leads me to the second point of today, how to deal with the root causes of cancer. So until now, I talked about the mechanism of cancer and how they lack air. So the reason why cancer cells lack oxygen is because of toxins. So cancer is a toxicity crisis. It's the body's final way attempt to get rid of metabolic waste. So the cell's instinct is to die, not to die. So an acidic and harmful, harmful environment forces the defective cells to mutate. As a result, they begin to get hold of anything they can, even toxins to survive. So cancer cells help your body to survive a bit, little bit longer than it would without them. They are actually doing a great job in the body filled with poisons. So they function as a sponge that absorbs some of the these toxins that otherwise would kill you. So healthy cells do not plan on becoming malignant cells. It's just the very best thing they can do in that severe situation. So cancer cells only settle in acidic waste. So in order to recover from cancer, you need to learn the root cause of it why your body becomes toxic. So there are several reasons why your body becomes toxic. So one of the reasons is our diet. So if you look at the world map, cancer is mo more common in the US than Africa. It's because Americans eat more animal products and 
processed food than Africans. In poorer countries, they can't afford meat and eat more vegetables and starches. So ma- many studies show that eating animal products like meat or dairy raises the risk of cancer. So another reason we become toxic is through heavy metals. So mercury is popular in two fillings and it's actually the most toxic natural substance on earth. So other sources of heavy metals include smog, cigarettes and industrial waste. Stress and emotional problems can also make your body malfunction. So when you feel stress, the body releases stress hormones like adrenaline or cortisol. So these hormones are bad for your body if prolonged. If you don't get enough sleep, that can also raise your risk of cancer too. During the night, your body does its most important work. So if you stay up all night or work late, you disrupt this important process. Many people are also deficient in vitamin D. So you get vitamin D from the sun. So low vitamin D levels raise the risk of developing more cancer. So dehydration is something else to take into consideration when you have cancer. Water is crucial in many body fluids or functions. So not getting enough of it can negatively influence your digestion and bodily functions. So to improve on cancer, it's crucial that you fix these problems. If you don't, your body can't detoxify. Most cancer patients only treat the symptoms of cancer. Treating the symptoms of cancer can't heal you. It can actually make things worse. So that's why I'm going to talk about why it's a bad bad idea to just fix the symptoms. So the doctors today, they only treat the symptoms of cancer. The most common ways to treat cancer are chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery. So these methods only try to eliminate cancer cells, not to fix the root causes of it. So when they remove cancer, it usually comes back because they haven't removed the poisons that lead to cancer. So many people that go through chemotherapy, they die within a five-year period. Chemo is extremely toxic to the body and is carcinogenic, which means that it causes more cancer. Radiation is also causing more cancer and is a poor band-aid too. So surgery doesn't take away the root cause of cancer either. It's like cutting the weed and not removing the roots. So it just will grow back. So using conventional treatment methods make no sense but because if cancer cells exist because of toxins, then why would you add more toxins to your body? So there is always a cause and effect in everything in life. That's true when it comes to your finances, relationships and health. So, for example, if little Johnny misbehaves, it's because he doesn't get enough attention from his parents. Or the parents might fight, which can influ- influence this poor behavior. So if, if you want him to stop fighting, it's better to find the cause of the problem. So the parents could give him more love and affection and thereby prevent that behavior. But if the parents only treated the symptoms, they would not solve their problem. So if they punish him for misbehaving or scolding him, then that would only make him angrier. So it's the same with cancer. We can use this toxic treatment method to remove cancer, but we haven't fixed the core issue. And therefore, cancer will come back again and again. So it's much smarter to address the underlying problems instead of just using a quick fix. So today you learn that cancer manifests when cells lack oxygen. And toxins influence cancer cells to use glucose instead of oxygen. Your diet, sleeping patterns or stress can make your body more toxic. Other reasons include a lack of sunshine, heavy metals and dehydration. The first thing that you discovered today was that conventional cancer treatments can't fix cancer. So I hope you now understand that to heal cancer it's important to first understand it, then treat the root causes of it and not just the symptoms. If you want to learn more about how to treat the root causes of cancer, then please visit our homepage at cancerwisdom.net. On our homepage, we teach you the natural and holistic way to treat cancer. You also get access to our free resource library, where you can download free guides about diet, detox, emotional healing, and more. So press the like button if you enjoyed this video, and also subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.